So heads up is not really my main format. It's just something I play occasionally for fun. So this is gonna be nice. Uh, but this King Seven here, I think both betting and checking is fine. I'm gonna check at RNG ninety five, but betting seems fine to me. Eight seven three. We're gonna go meeting or check with such a low kicker. Checking back is good. And here on the left with King Seven, I'm gonna go for a large bet. Think about pot is fine. Checking is also fine, I believe, with this kicker because he's supposed to check with both of his king highs, so having a king blocks his check backs. Again, three bet sometimes here at king seven and seven five. Easy call on the turn against reg. Most of these guys are going to be regs. I think there are, there's one reg in the pool right now, I think. On the river, five of diamonds is is okay i think i have to randomize his hand sometimes calling slightly infrequently is is okay i think eight nine six i'm gonna go smaller check here i don't think it's a super high frequency c bet board with this good shot though i will bet most of the time on the right here we're gonna go two thirds or check on this board. This hand. Hmm. I'm gonna go for a check with this hand, but I think betting occasionally is fine. And heads up, you see that a lot of strategies are very close. On the turn, I'm gonna go small. On the river here with eight, five. My bluff catcher is pretty good, but I don't need to call this very often. So I'm going to fold this time. With jack four, I believe it's close again. I do have some nines in my range. So I'm gonna go for a large bet here, but it's very, very close. With eight seven here, I'm gonna mix large bets and checks i'm gonna go for a large bet this time queen jack and a three bet sometimes nine seven five i'm gonna go bigger check on this texture this hand certainly qualifies as a candidate to be used not so frequently king of the turn is actually really good for my range I'm gonna continue here at a high frequency. With this hand having a spade and a gut shot, I think it's a perfect hand to put into this betting range quite often. I'm gonna go for a quarter pot, and quarter pot is good. Against 2.3, then you have to fold this king, queen three, and versus shove, easy fold here. This might be the rack in the pool. I'm gonna pay attention to him. Jack five suited, I'm pretty much just call here. Ace four, and mostly check on this board. And jack five. I'm gonna raise in frequently here, mostly calling against two thirds. Ace four. I'm gonna keep checking here. And I might bluff this river. I don't have many unpaired hands anymore here. As played, have to fold. On the right, pretty easy call, top pair and open ender. We make a straight on the river. We're calling a few bets. Queen six is close here. I'm gonna call this time. As played, I can have plenty of sizes on this turn. Small over bet, two thirds, even small. I'm gonna go for two thirds with this hand. Once he calls, we can go for two thirds again.
What did I fold here? I didn't realize. <laughs> I had four seven off. Yeah, I could open that actually. That's a fold. Queen four, we're gonna call versus three bet. And I think there are some of these queens that we can four bet to. A4 deuce, we're gonna go medium and check. This hand pretty much goes there every time. Queen four here against pot, unfortunately. I think we should fold. We had queen four of hearts, maybe we can continue. Here on the turn with the seven five. I think about three quarters is fine. I can continue betting hands like eight X, pocket nines, pocket tens. That should be fine. I can potentially have some overbats there as well, but I would prefer to have a heart to overbat there. Queen nine seven. Pretty good board for my range. I'm gonna go small here with high frequency. I think that's a good strategy on this board. Seven five. I'm going to mix call this time. Against small size, we're gonna mostly call. Yeah, I think pretty much just call. Jack on the turn is really good for him. He checks. We can't theme value bat this hand, I don't think. Perhaps with a better kicker, like King 5, Ace 5, we can block bet the river. Other than that, just checking my seven, my fives. And hoping that he showed, shows down an ace. Yep, ace deuce. Check five off. I think it's a full against 2.3. Yeah. Six, four, three. I got middle pair with a good kicker. Yeah, I think betting some time to with this hand is fine. 95 RNG, I'm going to check. Pocket jacks, we're going to four bet every time here. 24 seems nice. King four with the king of hearts. I'm calling. Yeah, I think with the king of hearts, I call. We doubt it. I may consider doing something else. Pocket jacks. On this board, I believe we want to go range for something like a third. Yeah, one quarter is fine. And here with the four, I can bat for sure. We should have some slow plays here to, to trap me. I get clicked with pocket jacks. We're just going to stick this in. <laughs> it folds. Okay. A7 got three bat infrequently. Calling this time. I'm going to check raise right sometimes on this board. On the four. not entirely entirely sure what to do or what to make of my ace kicker here generally it's nice to have the ace kicker and check because you block check backs but i'm i have an intuition that some ace highs are supposed to reopen here anyways then versus reopen i probably should raise sometimes but mostly call and then if he bets again i'm, I'm gonna call King high on this 10-8-5 board where I'm supposed to bet bigger check. I'm gonna check. And then on the turn, I probably shouldn't reopen with all my King X. And if I do reopen, I think it's supposed to be for slightly bigger size. He calls and I make two pair on the river. Definitely should continue value betting here. I think about three quarters is fine. Yeah, yeah. Jack 
Track seven, I think is indifferent here with this rig structure. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm gonna call. I think it's close. Our friend Milanov called here. He's got, <laughs> you see that? A7 off, okay. All right. I got 2.2, I'm calling, Queen six off. And here, I don't have many King Jack and Jack nine. Is three betting a lot? So when I check, but I think it's indifferent, this hand. First, a large bet. Should I call? I think I still have to call. Yeah, I think I still have to call. Queen six, I'm gonna mix here, bets and checks. Yeah, seems fine. Easy fold now. Should we queen six? I do have pretty good blockers to extract back range. And I couldn't do some bluffs. But I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it here. Eight seven. I'm gonna bat a lot here. Ten five deuce. I can barrel on plenty of renouts. Ten eight off. Going to three bats sometimes. Pocket nines, pretty much pure three bat. He calls, whoops, ace, king, jack, mono. Ace, king, jack, mono. I think size here has to be like super small. And any hand in my range that has a spade, it's probably very close to indifferent between like 10% and check. I'm gonna go 10% here, but I'm not, I'm not super convinced it's it's the best play. I'm just ha I have to run these ranges in my head because I don't I don't study heads up grids too often. I'm gonna go for a block here with pocket eyes with the spade. I think I can get folds from naked kings, naked jacks type hands. Five, three, gonna check raise here. As far as size is concerned, I think something medium is good. And pocket nines. I think I must bluff. Not sure though. What other better bluff candidates I have here? Are the low suited connected hands better bluffs than this? Probably not, right? Probably not. I blocked plenty of flushes. I blocked 10 9. Yeah, I think it's reasonable play. Gonna check it later. Jack Knight mostly calling here on the flop. Against pot on the turn. I have plenty of pair plus, pair plus draw type hands. With the jack of spades, probably still have to continue, but I think my naked 9x are very close to indifferent already against a pot size bet on the turn. He was going for ace nine value bet. We got there on the river. This is a reg. Let's mark people here. Eight seven, gonna three bet infrequently. King five three, not gonna bet super often with my queen highs. He very quickly checks. I think we are still supposed to check this. And we check. I 
Go through bets sometimes with the 10-7. Pretty good board. We're gonna have plenty of queens, including some offsuit ones. We're gonna bet small at a high frequency. He calls and turn is a seven. I think he probably has slightly more sevens than I do. And overall, I should probably check very often on this turn. Yeah, I think I should check very often here. With the spade, we can continue here on the right with king 10. Without it, we fold. He goes for two thirds on the turn. We're gonna call and see much point in raising. We're gonna have to call plenty of Plenty of bluff catchers here, pocket pairs, ace highs, etc. And river, we're calling a few bets. We can split against the seven. It's gonna have bluffs, of course. Nine, seven, seven. I'm gonna go for a small bet with a gut shot here, betting quite often. Check raises, we call. Yeah, goes for a small check raise. We're gonna call on the right here. Checking on this triple Broadway board. Really bad board for me, triple Broadway, single raise pot. He delays. I think I must call some aces here. Perhaps mostly with the spade. Yeah, not sure about this one at all. I think some aces preferably with the spade. Ace deuce, snow spade, I'm gonna fold. Five, six, folding here, I think, yeah. Folding for sure. Queen seven, four, mono. It's queen nine, I'm gonna throw best sometimes. Queen seven, four, mono with the diamond. We're see betting sometimes. Nine, seven, three, rainbow. We're gonna go bet bigger check here. With the queen kicker, I think. We mix. We mix. I'm gonna go for betting this time. Then seven three, we're gonna have two sizes here. One medium, one one small and one larger. Yeah, I'm gonna go for something like a third here. Queen nine, I'm gonna check on the jack. We're gonna card for him as he's gonna have hands like jack 10, jack eight. Ace jack's gonna float. Checking on the seven with king seven. That's three quarters here, queen nine. Have to call this for sure. Yeah to call this for sure. Not looking good though. And king seven, I'm gonna call as well. I'm folding river here with the queen nine. Don't think it's a good bluff catcher at this point. He gave up with ace 10. Seems okay, yeah, seems okay. Eight seven. Should be close to call, but I think it's just a full. Ace, queen, we're gonna three bet. He four bets, we call. He calls, flop is eight, seven, six. I think we check this hand, but it's not a terrible board for me. Check deuce deuce, I bet flop he calls. Turn, I can definitely continue betting some thin value hands. So I think I can have two sizes here. This RNG 92, I'm gonna put it into the smaller size. Ace queen, I think I must continue against small bet here. 
not leading on the six, I don't think. And River with eight deuce, now I'm gonna be over betting with the deuces I get here with. And ace queen, I think I must check here is to have decent amount of equity. Let's see what he does. He bets about two thirds. I think I have a zero AV call here. And we have just a call this time. See what he's got. He's got king nine. That king three might have been a call. Not sure. Yeah, I think against these small sizes, these, these king act offsuits are calls. Could be wrong though. Nine five against five X. I think we fold. Valent checks with the bottom pair. I think I should just check here. Eight, five, four. We're gonna go pretty big or check. I think pot is nice. This hand definitely fits into that range. King do is just checking it down. I lose to king three. A5 deuce, we're gonna go, I think half for check is fine. We can bet some dimes with this hand. Definitely not always. Pocket fours, we're gonna go I think slow playing sometimes is fine because we're gonna block a decent amount of his turn checkbacks. Now, pretty easy check raise here. So this is a very nice heuristic you can have in your game. So if you have here pocket fours, it means you're blocking a good chunk of his checkbacks and he is supposed to reopen a lot on the ace given that he's gonna have tons of ace x. So I think this is a pretty straightforward check raise. And all we have to figure out is the sizing. We should have a substantial nut advantage here against his range. So I think a shove sizing makes sense here. I'm gonna float with the pocket threes, perhaps even, could even put some raises in on this king four five. Once he checks, I think this is a pure check back. And on the ace, might be a bluff. Might be a bluff. Ah, it's so close. I'm gonna go for it. Like when I have an intuition that a certain hand might be a bluff, I prefer to go with the more aggressive action, even though I may not be 100% correct. That might have been a theoretical mistake, but even if it is a theoretical mistake, in practice, it might be really good against population because people might not play correctly those checking ranges and end up folding too much. So even though I might have some EV on the check, I can perhaps even have more EV on the betting line. 5-4, we're gonna call here on the flop. King-10, we're gonna mix calls in four bets. This time we're just gonna call. Uh, again, same heuristic here. We block a five and a four, we're just gonna be checking back. I'm gonna go for the check raise here. King 10, I think we have to float an ace high board against small bet. Should be close, but I think it's okay. In terms of four, I have stuff like pocket threes, queen three, king three. So I do have a decent amount of threes, more than he does. Plus here should be, should I have a king as a bluff? I don't think so. I think king highs are supposed to check here. I can still show down and win against some hands because he's supposed to slow down a lot on this card. So I think in theory, I'm supposed to just check this down. 
Perhaps bluff the river now. Blocking some of his calls. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that. I'm gonna go for the river bluff. I think once I don't bluff the turn, you know, what bluffs can I have to value bet my, my ace axe on the river? I think it's going to be around those. I think it's gonna be around those 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 weaker king highs, you know. Yeah. Queen ten. I'm gonna three bet sometimes, not always. Pocket tens, pretty much always a three bet here. Queen ten not strong enough to lead. It's not check call. As played. Play to block seems okay here. We still lose to plenty of jacks, but I think we are ahead enough that we can do this. Jack, jack, seven. I'm gonna go for small size, high frequency. Nine, six, recalling versus three bet. He calls, it turns a nace. It's an ambiguous turn card. It hits us both. I could potentially bet like 10% pot here, but I think I should mostly check with this one. 9-6, I'm going to call here. Make a flush in the turn, it's nice. Villain checks and the river is a king. I don't think we can value bet this. Perhaps a strong king, but yeah, I think this is mostly a check. And I think this flush here is... I think it's really close between all options here. Bet small, bet medium, check. I think everything kind of makes sense. He calls, river is a duke. It's a deuce. Gonna value back here and this pocket tens with the diamond. I block a lot of the hands I want him to have. Yeah, I think that's a fold. Yeah, I think I have to fold there. Let me try to get more time bank here. Our friend called with pocket queens on the last hand. We scooped a nice pot. Ace jack six, we can mix two sizes here. One quite large and one small. I'm gonna go with the small with ace deuce, basically smaller check with ace deuce. King nine on 10, six, three. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go bigger check. I think it's good. Yeah, bigger check is nice. 986 or point checks. We can go medium with this hand. Medium small is fine. 51. 51, I'm gonna go with a check. We still have to check these amount here with our with our nines. Six four we call in. We're never folding anymore here. Top pair with an open ender. Uh, Fu Hao's here with the 10-9. I don't block any of his check backs. I think check's probably not the greatest idea. Only question is sizing. I think a large bet is warranted here. 6-4, thinking whether we should raise against a smaller bet. Mostly call. A66. King highs don't need to bet on ace high pair boards. I'm gonna check this one. Continue to check here. And I think I have to call here. 
can open ender. It sucks because it's very likely just an overpair. But let's see. Pocket Queens, I got 30% equity. Oops. Almost missed a raise here. That would be unfortunate. We banked the river. <laughs> we got the large pot against a wreck. Queen Jack with three betting. E7 against four AB blinds. Probably not. Should be polarizing more to three bet range at this shorter stack deaths. Mostly use some offsuit hands, offsuit ASAC type hands, some other hands. First half pot, just call. Could potentially lead on the deuce, but probably 90% of the time. Probably not 90% of the time. And on the river. Yeah, I think we block. I think we block. And five. King Queen Deuce. I'm gonna go smaller check, but a bigger check strategy could also be fine. Villain calls turns a deuce. We both have plenty of deuce X. So they're Probably should be a large bet here. RNG 9, I'm gonna go for it. I think about pot is fine. Doesn't have to be much larger than that. And that's played pretty easy to give up. It's gonna have tons of full houses there and obviously all of the top pairs. Pocket tens. We're going to three bet. Six nine off. I think it's a fold. Jack six shoot three bet sometimes. I don't think so. Could be wrong though. As I said, it's been it's been some time since I checked these ranges and all the mix strategies and whatnot. I know it's supposed to be a very linear range with lots of pocket pairs and suited hands and the occasional offsuit hand. Ace nine off. I think we four bet here sometimes for sure. Think about 30 blinds is fine. At 200 big deep, 200 bigs deep. I have a club. Mixing here. Small bet and check. Mostly check, I would imagine. King three, we're calling here. Has play with the pocket fives. Can we value that for a large size? Yeah, I think about three quarters is fine. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. King three not stabbing 88% of the time on this board. Check. We might reopen on this turn, however. Yeah, so basically the turn reopens here. You can't just reopen with draws. A lot of the draws that I could have in the turn, I'm gonna be stabbing on the flop, so I gotta reopen with some of these complete air hands. 10-6-5, gonna bet three quarter a check. This 10-9 could go there sometimes. Once the king turn comes, I think I must check sometimes with this hand. The nine this bag is gonna have plenty of check folds in the turn that contain a nine. I'm gonna go for the check here. And we have the Drain River. As you can see, I do get hit with 10-9, and he does get hit with 10-9 himself, and 10-9 is actually good slow play for him, blocking 10s and 9s. Well, blocking 10s, because 9s are going to reopen. So, I'm going to go for this, and I'm going to go for the check. Just 
Dirk 9, 3 betting sometimes, very infrequently though. Jack 8. I'm going to call it RNG 80. Flat mostly calling versus sizing. Actually, I think pure calling versus sizing. On the deuce, we probably get to the lead sometimes here. Quite small. Yeah, I like leading here small sometimes. Once he just calls, our hand is reasonably strong. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a three quarter. Could go for a smaller size too. He's got eight seven, cool. Got jack four suited. Come on, dude. Bottom pair, vector flush draw. I think with a vector flush draw, I must still call. But it's really close to zero already. Do I have blockers for his check back range? I don't think he should have many jacks on his flop big bet. So I'm gonna lead here. And am I gonna get raised here very often? I don't think so. So I'm just gonna size up myself. I double barrel it small on a jack. Not sure if that's a thing here. As played, I'm just going to bluff the river. It's got the ace four, six three. Can't do anything here, I don't think. King eight got three bats sometimes. And we're approaching the end of the session. He four bats relatively large. King eight probably folding here. This is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please give it a like and also subscribe to the channel. My goal is to bring more and more high value content for you guys here, okay? See you in the next one.